Hello guys, and I hope those replays caught your attention. Since I want to establish Buster Dragon as quickly as humanly possible, and with any of Dragon Buster Destruction Sword, Buster Blader cannot do this alone anymore. He needs outside support. And that's why I looked into the Dawnwalker engine. It's a very neat little addition to the deck. With Triple Escator and Double Escator, this makes for an instant level 8 synchro. I have to discard a card, but discarding a Buster Blader Pretty much does nothing since Buster Dragon can just revive him. And we added the Fluffle Engine for additional draw power just so we could plus out of this. We are locked into Synchro Monsters for the remainder of the turn, but actually that doesn't really matter. If we're able to establish Buster Dragon early and get Destruction Sword memories into the graveyard, the fact that we're locked into Synchro Monsters is no big deal. We also have some really interesting Synchro Monsters this time. We have of course, the Hot Red Dragon Arch in the Abyss, the Triple Buster Dragon, and Standard Lifeline Lord Omega. But as you can probably see, we have a new addition, at Emancipator Risen Dragon. This is here because it can also be summoned with Ascator, and its effect can be used with Fluffle Dolphin in the graveyard, which most likely is going to hit it with Poivander. We're also playing Draco Berserker of the Tangy for additional disruption, it 
doesn't negate, but the fact that banishes and it's not targeting banish is very important for outing cards like, I don't know, Dragoon. We're also playing some of the Spark Dragon just in case, so we can go into it if we had something like Prologue in the hand. So we can just set Prologue, get our combo going, and still have protection. We're also playing Sun Dragon into because, well, Ascator. The rest of the deck is quite standard, Appaloosa, Draco Master of the Tiny, Lucky Firebrax, and Protective Vault. I don't think we need to showcase here anymore. So, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!